hello. This is Dr. LaKendra Hardware, <laughs> Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion here at Goshen College. I'm also a bit of a drama nerd and a storyteller. So I wanted to come in a little bit differently. Uh, today I'm here to bring you one of our wellness messages for this week. Student Life has been putting these messages out either in written format or video format and so it's my joy to bring to you some DEI updates uh, and just some awareness messages we wanted to share. Uh, first and foremost, DEI, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion here at Goshen College is indeed an area that touches every aspect of campus, every member of our campus community, whether student, whether faculty, staff, even our visitors. Uh, we want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity uh, to be a part of our community in a way that's meaningful and rich, uh, that allows them to feel valued and respected, that upholds a common standard of courtesy, civility, and and general and genuine respect for one another as individuals, as human beings. Uh, that work being said, I want to say that I am an office of one, but we are a campus of many. So what does this mean? It is everyone's uh, responsibility to help us grow that community, become that community, and stay, maintain that community. And so I wanted to make sure I share that message first uh, with you. Um, I wanted to share about our Bias Matters Response team and our policy. Our Bias Matters Response team is working throughout uh, this time. Uh, we're meeting regular, regularly to begin doing some adaptation of our policy. You may find uh, the policy referred to as racial misconduct in some spaces on campus or the language refers specifically to racial misconduct. We want to make sure that we are talking about all matters of bias as it relates to discrimination and harassment and we will be addressing that with our policy update. So just know that there'll be some updated policies coming and that we are taking into account the broader message of what it means to have bias that negatively impacts or perpetuates stereotypes and discrimination. So we want to address that, address those behaviors and hold our, excuse me, hold our campus community accountable for those spaces. Um, we also want to make sure that we share with you some updates. So I had a wonderful opportunity over the past uh, week to share in continued conversation with our Asian Student Association uh, advisor and leaders. Uh, we came together to just touch base with students again. As we prepared to exit campus, uh, we were finding out that there were some negativity that students had heard or were hearing on campus uh, in community in the wider world. And so we wanted to touch base on that and make sure that we are reminding people that discrimination or harassment, uh, disparaging comments uh, about one's identity or around any aspect of identity as it relates to COVID-19 or anything else are not things that we will tolerate here at the campus. We want to make sure our Asian, student, uh, our Asian students uh, know that we are standing with you and we are supporting you and your presence here is honored and valued. Uh, so that's a message that I wanted to share specifically as DEI. Um, not only that, but we also know that with many of the virtual world encounters people are having across the internet, um, across the country, across the nation, not everyone is making wise choices. And this isn't particular to our community, but there's an awareness that people say things and do things sometimes behind these platforms that they wouldn't necessarily, we pray, do in, 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 in personal, in person to person communication or contact. And so, um, if there are any encounters that you're having or that you're aware of where people are uh, discriminating, acting out of bias toward individuals in a way uh, that violates our policy, we want to remind you that we do have a policy in place and you can look up bias matters response team and as well as our uh, report, our reporting mechanisms are also online. Um, we will process any cases that we get. One thing you can do is to report for yourself, but also to report for someone else. Or maybe it's about an identity or a person or a group that I'm not a member of, no one else was there, but this isn't right. And so standing up in the gap, uh, helping interrupt and disrupt behaviors is a part of what we do as our college campus. And so we're continuing to do that. Um, I think the final message I'll share is this, and just to remind you that we want to continue programming across the spectrum of who we are as an institution. And so that means we're gonna be bringing you some different kinds of topics, maybe some lunch series. Um, the calendar continues and we're still here. And so are many, many, many of you. And so we want to continue doing work. So keep your ears and eyes posted. 
DEI is coming back with some great things. So thank you so much for allowing me to be a small part of your day today. I pray and I do pray that something has been said that uh, encourages you, uh, inspires you, informs you, but most importantly, connects with you. Uh, DEI at Goshen College is here for each and every one of us. It's been my pleasure to share with you on today. I am Dr. LaKendra Hardware, the Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at Goshen College. Bye-bye.